We interrupt your regularly sponsored program. This is the emergency broadcasting system with an emergency alert. Warning. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. I'm the governor of the great state of New York. And first, I've called the president and asked for, this, for a state of emergency. And he has signed that request. So I want to guarantee you all that every resource will be brought to bear. Regional, local, and federal elements of FEMA's emergency quick response team are on the scene and on their way from D.C. Now I have some troubling news I'm going to share with you. And I need, to, I need you all to pay attention very closely as your lives could depend on it. We learned earlier this morning that there was a biohazardous waste that had gotten into the water system and turned Manhattan into a pandemic infestation never heard before. It was something in that waste that created a zombie-like undead population who now must feed on human brains in order to survive. So far, more than a thousand people in New York City have been killed and their brains have been removed. Police cannot kill these zombies through traditional means as the only way to kill a zombie is to destroy the brain, stabbing, shooting, or crushing it, etc., etc. Out of the 1.6 million people in Manhattan, 1 million of them are zombies now, and the number is spreading quickly. Now, at 3 o'clock this afternoon, as I said, we declared a state of emergency for the city of New York, that's Manhattan, and the other boroughs. All transportation has been halted. Everything is full stop. We are effectively cordoning off the island of Manhattan. All bridges and tunnels have been manned by the New York State National Guard and rigged with explosive charges. No one who is presently in Manhattan will leave the island until we get a handle on this situation. These troops and impediments are already in place, and I am declaring martial law in the city. Anyone caught trying to go other than where they are told will be considered an enemy combatant and a shoot to kill order has been given. For those of you who are inside uh, Manhattan area, Manhattan Island, uh, you will have to try to make it to three. Count them. One, two, three evacuation points in the cities if you have any chance to get off that island. The first one is at Battery Park where we will have every ship available to get you off of that island. Bring nothing. We have no room for any of your things. The Navy and the Coast Guard will be patrolling the waters around the island to make sure that no one leaves the island. Don't try. All these ships, all ships uh, not properly identified will be sunk. The second, the second evacuation zone is at Central Park by Columbus Circle. Again, keep it orderly. The Marines are there for your and our protection. You will be heloed out and the la and 
leaf from that uh, cordoned off little section where we're keeping them out. The last section, the last zone, is the Queenboro Bridge over to Roosevelt Island. That is the only bridge that will be left open for possible evacuation. Those of you directly in Manhattan get to the to excuse me. Those of you not directly in Manhattan get to Three Rivers New Jersey Jet Stadium or Long Island for further instructions. The CDC says that this thing has an incubation period of just 30 minutes. After full zombification and death if the brains are if brains are not consumed within 36 hours. If you if you must anchor down in your homes, we believe we can outlast the virus causing this if we keep contained. It should be over within seven days. What are the some some of the long term effects of this event? Well, let me tell you, the long term effects are death. So don't get bit, because you will die. And if you get bit, we will kill you. But it's not you, so don't worry about it. You'll never know. Be advised, a control team will enter the city in seven days. If we find that the virus persists, we will drop a tactical nuclear weapon on Manhattan. The final thing I want to say is Godspeed and good luck. Now get moving.